Now, in the demo, we covered one kind of scenario of how a client might call up the business and you just create a job for them and schedule it for a fixed time. But there are other scenarios as well, like if you answer calls in the field from clients, you can also create and schedule jobs in the ServiceMate app as well. So in the top right here, we'll tap the plus button, a new job. We can just create it from scratch or we can use a job template. So I'll just tap new job. We can search for a pre-existing client or just create a new one on the spot. I can give it a job description and set the job status and then save. And then I can schedule that job. Even if it's urgent, I can dispatch it as an urgent job. So I can just schedule it and find a staff member in a time that suits both us and the client that way as well. So when it comes to scheduling, you also know that not all jobs need to be scheduled to a technician at a fixed time, like eight o'clock or 10 o'clock. Some jobs can just be done in a window of time. So we have this concept of allocation windows in ServiceMate where you can just drag a job onto a technician and then you can allocate it to them in a window of time, like morning or afternoon or just during business hours. And that'll show up in their schedule as you need to get to this job in this window of time. The same thing goes if you offer a call out service. So if you have like a 24 seven call out service where you respond to client emergencies or something, you can also allocate jobs to technicians as urgent. So you can just drag the job onto them, allocate it as urgent, they'll get an instant notification and it'll show up in their schedule as an urgent job to attend to. Now, we also have functionality if you do regular recurring jobs. So if you're in a repeat job industry like lawn or garden care, pool care, cleaning, property maintenance, even pest control, you can actually create a job in ServiceMate and set it to recur, set it to automatically recreate and schedule itself at set intervals, like every week or fortnight or month. So how to do that is up in the top left here, we'll click new recurring job. So it's a little bit similar to a job card. We'll enter in client's name. We can then set a job template that this job will use every time it recreates and schedules itself. Like if we want the job description to be the same every single time and systemize the job that way. We'll say the recurring type, it should be automatically scheduled. We can then set the time of day and how long that job should take and set which staff members it should schedule itself to. And we can also set the recurrence pattern. So here you can see when we want it to start and the frequency at which we want this job to automatically recur. And we can customize that and get a little bit more granular in how that frequency works as well. And you can then save that and it'll automatically recreate and reschedule itself according to your recurrence settings. Now, if the return date isn't set in stone, so maybe you don't want to automatically reschedule that job and that's not appropriate for this job and this client, for the recurring job type, you can say instead that the reminder should arrive in the inbox. And what that's going to do is instead generate a reminder, it'll pop up in your inbox here in the top right corner and you can act on that by reviewing that reminder and then following up with the client as to whether they want to book in another service. So you can also set ServiceMate to automatically email and text your clients with the automations add-on. So check this out. Automation, we've got a range of default automations ready to activate in your account for different scenarios and different points throughout a job workflow. So you can see here we've got a booking confirmation uh, automation so you can activate that so that once you make a booking it can automatically send those details through to a client to confirm those details with them you can activate a booking reminder so just before their scheduled booking you can remind the client via email and text that you're going to be there maybe tomorrow and that just helps avoid those no-shows which are a real mess around and a loss of productivity and, and income for your business you can also set automations at points like just after you've sent a quote, you can follow up up to five times if they haven't accepted your quote yet. So you can build out this really personalized sequence of follow-up messages just to prompt the client to maybe ask a question or think about considering or, or accepting your quote. 
which is really good for automatically winning jobs and winning work for your business. The same thing with payments. So if you've sent out an invoice and the, pay, the client hasn't paid yet, you can automatically follow up up to five times just to prompt the client to pay and just really help out your cash flow without you having to track those payments and do that uh, hassling yourself. Uh, as well as something like a badge follow-up. So you can actually s activate a custom automation to follow up with a client a set period of time after you've completed a job for them. So you might set this automation to follow up clients you've completed a job for maybe three months uh, after you've completed the job. So this can be really powerful for things like requesting a Google review soon after you've completed a job, or maybe three months later where you're just inquiring with the customer how they're going, whether they like the work you did, and if there's anything else you can help out with. So automation is definitely one to check out to automatically and systematically communicate with your clients in a really consistent, professional way. And it can do wonders in terms of systematically bringing work into your business, helping things run smoothly, and even getting paid as well. So check it out. Now, when it comes to quoting, for those jobs you really wanna win, you want to check out our proposals feature. So you know when you send a basic quote, maybe a brief description, a few line items and a price, there can be a bit of work in helping the client understand what they're looking at. You know, whether each particular item code or line is the particular variant or specification they're looking for, or just helping them understand the value that they're getting or what options they have. So we created proposals as an add-on to ServiceMate to help take your quotes to the next level and provide clients a really rich online experience that gives them heaps of detail and gives them choice in the buying process. So if you open up a job with a status of quote, with the proposals activated, you can just click proposal, you can expand this out and get this visual intuitive builder to build a beautiful quote for your clients. So it's all what you see is what you get. You can just drag and drop different sections. You can add text, you can add uh, material sections that are multiple choice. So clients can choose between which item they want. You can add images, you can add attachments. You can add optional extras for the client to completely opt into if they want to. And then you can send this to the client in an email and we can just switch over and see what that looks like. And there you have it. The client gets this beautiful, rich online quote experience. You've got your logo, all your details, the price here. They can accept this proposal online. They can scroll down. They can see those optional extras, choose which one they want. They can look through the imagery opt in to any optional extras, the price updates in real time, and they can just accept. And they can educate themselves without all of that back and forth with your business and get that beautiful online experience. Now, when it comes to invoicing, we saw in the demo how it's possible to invoice and take payment in the field with the ServiceMate app. So you can browse and add items to your invoice. You can then take payment on site with the ServiceMate app, generate a PDF invoice, email that to the client, and even send those details through to zero before you even get back in your van and drive away. Which is, it's awesome for efficiency, it's awesome for job completion, for customer service, for cash flow. But we understand you might not be in a position to invoice and take payment in the field. Maybe the invoice needs to be reviewed by a team member back in the office before it can be sent. So ServiceMate is flexible around this invoicing workflow. So for example, uh, the technician, they might add some notes and details to the job card. They might add some line items for materials that they've used and then update the job status to completed. So once a job status is completed in ServiceMate, it appears in the invoicing tab. And this is where you can build a really good workflow around how you review invoices before they're approved to zero or before they're sent to clients. Uh, so here we can see that same job card for A to Z stationary. We can open it up. We can review the jobs diary. We can see what's happened. We can see the line items that have been added. We can add a work completed description. 
we can generate an invoice and we can then email and text that to the client. And from there, we can also tick this and approve this invoice through to zero here. So keep in mind that ServiceMate is very flexible around your invoicing workflow and whether you do that in the field or in the office or both, uh, it can handle the way that you'd like to do it.